Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India So let's start lecture 35 And we will continue our discussion on uh, kinetics of corrosion. In fact, uh, we have already reached to the state of uh, state where we can find the relation between current density and over voltage. And that relation we have found in the last lecture, which is I A equal to beta A log of I neta A, which is anodic over voltage rather high over voltage value positive quantity I A plus constant. This is we termed it as a Tafel equation. Similarly, for cathodic over voltage it was beta c log i c plus constant and they were you can this constant value also and if we try to write it the complete one which is n a equal to beta a log i a by i 0 and here it is neta c equal to minus beta c log i c by i 0. So, this we can put it plus because I can take this negative sign minus sign into beta c and where beta a equal to r t into 2.303 divided by alpha n f and beta c equal to r t into 2.303 divided by 1 minus alpha n f. And this two equation, these are same as this is for anodic, and this is for cathodic Tafel equation. And this beta c, this minus minus is minus sign is incorporated here. So, that is what beta c is basically the negative slope between over voltage and I plot. And this is definitely a positive slope between over voltage and I plot, which is the current density plot, rather I would say log I plot. Log I plot. Now, these two equations we have derived from a basic Butler Volmer equation. We have two forms of Butler Volmer equation. One we have found out from consideration of atomic jump from one side to another, which is inner Helmholtz plane to the outer Helmholtz plane. And that time we have this particular energy distribution initially it was like this and then we have considered that the anodic current density is higher than the cathodic current density. So, that is what we have this kind of energy distribution plot which this one is alpha n f neta and this part is 1 minus alpha n f neta and this is m side this is m n plus side. So, this is i a and this side is i c with a negative sign because it is flowing negative opposite to i a. When they were equal when i c equal to i a they are experiencing same activation barrier, but when I A is higher than the I C, 
then the activation barrier for the forward reaction is reducing. This is my activation barrier for the forward reaction and the backward reaction we are getting higher activation barrier. So, that is where the rate of backward reaction is reducing. So, that time we are getting a equation of this short which is I 0 exponential alpha n f nita by r t minus exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f nita by r t. So, this with this consideration we would get to this particular equation what we have proven in the last lecture. Now, there is one more form which is i equal to n f k 0 concentration of oxidant exponential minus alpha n f. If we consider the way we have considered here, I can write the similar fashion which this one should be C r then, then it would be alpha n f nita by r t minus C o exponential minus 1 minus alpha n f nita by r t, where this nita I was taken as E minus E 0. And remember in this case, the previous case what we have seen earlier, if we go back to that particular expression, go back to that particular expression, if you see this, that time we have considered a reducive symmetry factor that alpha was reducive, but in this current case we are considering oxidative reducing factor that is where this C r part is coming before then C o. Now, that time if we consider condition I a equal to I c equal to I 0 and that time E equal to E 0 and that case R a equal to K a C of R concentration of R and since it is E equal to E 0 that time we have considered it to be K 0 and then I can convert into I A equal to N F K 0 C R and similarly I can convert R C equal to K C C O which I can write in this form. C 0 and in that case we have considered one more consideration which is C r equal to C o equal to C if we consider and then in that situation K a 0 equal to K C 0 if you go back in the last lecture you can find it. So, this I can consider as K 0. So, I can replace this C with the C r C r with C as well as C, because I am considering that the concentration of for reductant as well as oxidant both are same. So, then from this equation I can get I 0 equal to I A equal to I C equal to N F K 0 C, is not it. So, then I am if I take this C out, then I am getting the same expression here, because this part is nothing but I 0, is not it. So, we are getting the same equation considering the both the roots, one was considering the rate equation and then another one is the jump system, jump theory that classical uh, rate theory and where we are considering the jump of atom due to that vibration of the atoms from one plane to the another. Now, coming back to these two equations, these two equations are very, very important when we try to look at the corrosion part. Now, before we try to relate this corrosion uh, uh, theory, corrosion of metal with this Staffel equations, first see how they uh, they can be plotted. 
In fact, when I consider this over voltage, let us say N A equal to beta A log I A plus constant, the, it means that this is potential and this is that means, thermodynamic quantity and this part is nothing but current density, this part also involves current density because this part this constant is nothing but beta a of log i with a minus sign log i 0, this is the exchange current density. So, this is current density, this is a kinetic parameter. So, this equation relates thermodynamic quantity with the kinetic parameter that means, whenever we have a current flow that means, the net current flow we are going to get polarization which shifts the potential due to kinetic influence and during corrosion you would see that yes we would try to shift the potential of a particular metal from one potential to the another and during that process we can either get higher corrosion or we can control corrosion. So, that would be more scientific ways of considering the corrosion control and that is what we have considered we, we will see that there are two routes of protection mechanism of uh, metals and alloys from corrosion one is cathodic protection another one is anodic protection until unless we know and we to until unless we understand this Tafel equation or the relation between current density and polarized potential till then we will not be able to understand those protection mechanism properly. Now, let us look at, so it is basically relating these two kinetics and thermodynamics of electrode processes, electrode reactions or electro or the corrosion I would say, because we are considering in terms of corrosion, we are not looking at the deposition part. Here we have to look at uh, the anodic current density all the time. So, let us try to see how it can be plotted in a particular diagram. So, let us uh, try to see the plot between nita A and log I A as well as nita C and log I C. Let us say this side is log I and this direction is this particular axis is nita. Now, we, we before we when we when the system reaches equilibrium for example, this particular system we have considered m m when it reaches equilibrium that means, i equal to i 0 equal to i a equal to i c and e equal to e 0 if it is in standard condition that time this is equal to 0. So, this is 0 value equal to 0 and let us say this is that point we are considering where this is I 0. Now, at this I know that over voltage is 0. Now, if I try to plot nita A beta A log I A plus constant. So, that plot would be this and if we extend this 
it will go through this point, because at this point neta a goes to 0 also, because this term is nothing but beta a log i a and i 0 log i 0 and at this point I do not get any net current, rather I would remain at I 0 and the slope is beta a. I can also have a plot between neta c and beta c, uh, i c, so that plot would be this one and if we extend this, this would also follow through this particular i 0 point and this slope is beta c which is of negative slope and the rea relation is neta c equal to beta c log i c plus constant and here the constant is beta c log i 0. Of course, here also this is a minus term and this minus the this beta c is a negative slope has a negative slope. Now, that means, when I am doing cathodic polarization neta is going down. So, this is neta c and this is anodic polarization eta a. Now, let us see that if we send a preferential current that means, this is i c, this is i a and when I send extra negative current then I would get I applied equal to I C minus I A that is the difference. Now, if I go to a very high over voltage, let us say this is my over voltage 1, neta 1, that time the current density is log of that current density is, let us say that current density part is this is minus 1 and this is minus 5. So, it corresponds to the current of 10 to the power minus 5 ampere per centimeter square and this corresponds to the current of 10 to the power minus 1 ampere per centimeter square. So, that occasion my I applied would be 10 to the power minus 1 minus 10 to the power minus 5, which is equal to 0 0.09999. And then if I try to take a log of this, it would be close to minus 1, rather minus 1.0004, which is close to minus 1. Similarly, log I c equal to log of 10 to the power minus 1 equal to minus 1. So, that means, if I try to plot log I applied, this would also lie on the same point of I c and remember this corresponds to I a and this corresponds to I c, because this particular point which is corresponding to current of 10 to the minus 5 ampere per centimeter square that time we this particular point is lying on the anodic line anodic tuffle plot and this particular point is lying on the cathodic tuffle plot. So, this particular point should indicate I c and this one should indicate I a and here I am putting minus 5 and minus 1 because we are taking log axis. So, we could see that log I applied is also is falling on the same point of I c. Now, if we go for a different level of over voltage which is let us say neta 2, that time this value is 10 to the power minus 4 and this is 10 to the power minus 2, that time also I could see that 
they are coming close approximation. So, I applied would be equal to 0 0.0999 and then also I could see that log I applied equal to log of I C. So, that means that time also if I try to plot log I applied which is the excess current that the current that is flowing through the circuit would be falling on the same point. But if I go much lower over voltage let us say this is n nita 2 nita 3 that time this value is let us say 10 to the power minus 3 and 10 to the power this is uh, this is let us say this point is 0 0.005 then I will not be able to see that uh, log I applied is equal to log I C because in this case I applied equal to I C minus I A equal to um, 0 0.005 minus 0 0.00 uh, rather uh, 0 0.001. So, then it becomes 0 0.004. So, log I applied equal to 2 point minus 2 point 39, whereas log I C equal to log 0 0.005 equal to minus 2.30. So, then it is not equal, we cannot say that they are equal. So, that time we see that the log I applied this particular point at, at nita 3 should be lying left to this. Now, as we go let us delete this part, so that we will be able to understand carefully. As we go closer to this particular point, I could see that that point also would shift to the left, because the difference is log of that particular I C minus I A is not falling on the same I C line, rather it is switching to the left side. And now, once this as we go much lower over voltage it is falling on this particular point. Now, finally, when the over voltage reaches to 0, so that means it becomes undefined. So, that point would be meeting somewhere and then if I try to connect those locus of those points I applied point, I get a plot like this where this portion is a straight line portion which is falling exactly on the beta c line uh, on the on the uh, nita c versus log i c line. Similar situation we can think of on the positive side mm -hmm. there also it will be similar way we can construct this particular experimental plot where this portion which is a straight line portion is falling exactly on the nita a versus log i a plot. And in fact, this green line is basically the polarization plot or the Tafel plot, we call it Tafel plot, Tafel plot. So, this Tafel plot actually can be experimentally determined by sending extra current through the system, through this particular system and then try to we just measure the potential as a function of log i applied and then we get this plot. And interestingly you see as the as the over voltage is very high, then we are reaching towards that linearity of that particular Tafel plot for the anodic as well as cathodic sides. And that linearity will be enable uh, will enable us to find out beta a or beta c. So, this beta a which are called Tafel slope, this Tafel slope is important factor to determine the corrosion rate or the corrosion current density, we will see later on. So, that means, this is the experimental uh, diagram which is the green line and that green experimental line has been drawn from the concept of 
polarization which is related to this relation or this relation. Now, coming back to this particular general equation, neta c is beta log i plus constant. If we seek it carefully, here we are considering that the concentration on i h p or o h p they are same, they are not changing during the polarization. And when it does not change during it is not changing, because if I see the actual system, we have a bulk system, where this, this is i h p and this is o h p. And then we have a bulk system, where m n plus ions are also present. Now, if I try to see the concentration, if I plot this is concentration, this is concentration axis. So, in this case C r as well as C o, they are similar at the same time C o is also the bulk concentration. of m n plus ions. So, in fact, we do not get any concentration difference from the bulk to the interface of that electrode. And that time this particular situation is arriving. Now, in fact, if I try to see anodic this particular reaction, which is cathodic reaction. Now, in that case, if we have this continuous cathodic reaction, there could be a possibility that metal ion is consumed heavily, so that there could be a depletion of metal ion at the interface. And so, the depletion is with regard to the bulk concentration of metal ion in the in that particular medium of the aqueous solution. So, that time we have a concentration difference, that concentration difference might lead to some polarization again. That polarization is called concentration polarization, we will talk about that part. But if there is enough supply of this ions to the interface that means OHP, then we would not experience any concentration related polarization. Now, if we have this condition that the rate of diffusion of ions from the bulk solution is greater than the rate the rate of the jump of ions over the activation barrier that time we can say that the slowest step of the overall reaction is this one and the slowest step actually controls the overall reaction and overall rate of that particular process. So, then because this is guided, this polarization is guided by the rate of the jump of ions over the activation barrier, we call it activation polarization. And this activation polarization, it has got two terms N A as well as N C, which is activation activated activation polarization for anodic, anodic polarization and this is cathodic polarization. So, that means, we are getting this Tafel equation is basically indicating activation polarization or the rate of the jump of ions or atom from one plane to another. And we will consider concentration polarization in our next lecture. Let us stop here. Thank you.